Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christiana Evarez. I'm the mother of Tina Adeyo. I'm here to clear the air concerning the marriage I I issue. My people, I'm here to tell you a little story. I'm not going to say everything that happened since these 11 years of marriage. When Bright Ben Olu came to my house to marry, ask my daughter son in marriage, I saw him as a son and I received him and I asked him, first of all, I asked him who he is, whether he's a born again Christian. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christiana Evarez. And he told me, he said, yes, ma. I said, which church? He said, Jesus Dominion. And I asked him, when we, we reached to our church, they asked him to bring a letter from the pastor, which he did. And they look at the uh, letter, it's from a man of God. So I now took him to the village to, the, to see the villagers, the elders, according to the tradition. And he did. That day, he gave his father title. He celebrated. He gave people, both male and women, their right. But to the parents, when they told him to come and see us, he said he will see us later. And he told me, he said, yes, ma. I said, which church? He said, Jesus Dominion. And I asked him, there was no bright price. That the main thing that makes a woman to be, to be a wife to a man. After that time, I said, maybe he will see us later. One year goes, two years, two years, I did not see anything. And when this problem started between two of them, it was two weeks after the marriage, after the white wedding. And uh, she took 50 naira from his pocket to buy soap to wash their clothes. When he came back, he called her a thief. Why did she put her in her pocket? She's the one that told him, her, him that, see, I collected money, I waited for you, and I said, let me wash it. There was no bright price. He began to call her thief. And they invited me. I went there, I said, ah, this thing is too bad. Don't allow people to hear about this. Only soup cannot bring problem. I advised them and went through. From there, the thing started, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. And God help, she put bed, she put to bed. I went there as a mother to take care of my daughter. When I went there, he pursued me. He and his mother, his mother was alive that time. He pursued me and told me, what did I carry call? I went to him. And after three months, my daughter came with her child. And this cell told me that the man is threatening him. He said he will kill him. He began to he kill him. He will kill her and use two million naira to close our mouth, that is her people's mouth. And I was surprised. It was then that I understand that this man had married a daughter, a, ch a daughter, first wife from Abia State. And the girl died six months later. I was not aware, and nobody told me. And I find out, say, oh, maybe it's this problem, this type of thing that caused them harm. And I went to God. We pray 
and pray for God to change the mind of this young man. My daughter have run several, carry her load. Before three months, she will come to my house. Small time, this young man will come and beg and beg and beg. Tell me what is killing him. He will not say. He said, I want my wife back. I want my wife back. And all this thing, I say, God, I don't know what to do. Only I look upon God. I continue to pray. We have gone many places. I've taken him to, we have gone to mountains to pray to God for, to help this young man. But no avail. This young man continued to threaten this, my daughter. And even my children, he hate all of us. He scared all of us away. Church people will not come. Her, her house, their house was a house fellowship. Because of his life and everything, everybody ran away. Instead of giving to her, he will put her in her pocket and be picking, taking her money. He will not say. He said, I want my wife back. I want my wife back. I have called him. What is the problem? Nothing to say. He, today saying that his first, his first son, they ate the child inside his house. Every day, they were, after six months, the boy started dep depreciating. Daily, daily, daily. And because of he said he don't want to see me, I cannot go there. Until one day, my daughter called me. I went there to sleep. I said, when I entered his house, he did not greet me. I greeted him, Mr. Bright, good evening. He did not respond. And I called him, please, see the reason why I'm here. It's because of this boy. How are we going to do? And make this boy to survive. And that time, he listened to me and went to hospital. They brought drugs. I have called him, what? Before I know it, two days later, my daughter ran. I, I was not at home. She called me that she's in the house. I went there, I was surprised. The man continued to torture them, to give them food problem. Later, I have everything as they, they are in my house. Two weeks later, he now sent me to go all the parishes, go and report in our province. And the pastor, the, the man of God, the, the province, the provisional pastor called me and he told me everything. And he said that the man said, I'm the one bringing problem. Anytime I came to his house, that there will be problem, which I never go to his house. After, from that time, he called me only that day. I said, let me go and see this child. And my daughter ran away with that child. Before I know it, two days later, my daughter ran. I, I was not at home. She called me that she's in the house. I went there, I was surprised. The man continued to torture them, to give them food problem. He stayed two weeks with me, and the child started moving again. The child that was crawling, that cannot cry again, the child now started eating, started doing well. And people, when they came back, people were surprised. This man reported me in the village that I'm the one that is, uh, uh, when I come to his house, his wife we started misbehaving. I said, God, when we went to the village, he came with his friend. So they asked him the reason, what is happening? And he opened his mouth and he said he don't want any matter. Well, all he wanted was he stayed two weeks with me and the child 